And here are some practice problems dealing with the hydraulic lift. And in the first one, we're told that a hydraulic lift has an input cylinder with an area of 2.5 square inches. And so that's this, this area here. This is a cylinder. A force is applied here, and that force is spread out over an area of 2.5 square inches right there. And an output cylinder over here is much larger, area of 300 square inches. And then 15 pounds of input force will result in how much output force? Well, this, uh, this machine multiplies the force, and it does so greatly. And the amount that it multiplies the force by is the ratio of the two areas. So we just need to comp compare the 300 square inches to the 2.5 square inches and and when you do this the square inches cancel out the ratio is just a number 300 divided by 2.5 comes out to 120 that's the mechanical advantage of this hydraulic hydraulic lift hydraulic systems typically give a very large mechanical advantage they multiply the force by a tremendous amount so in this case the 15 pounds input force gets multiplied by 120 and that gives us the output and 15 times 120 is 1800 so 1800 pounds that's the answer 15 pounds pushing down here will result in 1800 pounds of lift nearly one ton of lift Now the second problem, we're told a certain hydraulic lift has an input cylinder with a radius of 2 centimeters and an output cylinder with a radius of 14 centimeters. So this time we're given the radius of each one, not the area. It's the area that matters, so we will need to calculate the area for each of these. And there are two areas here, so we'll do two separate area calculations. We'll call this cylinder 1 and this one cylinder 2. And so the area for cylinder 1, we'll call that A1. That will be pi r squared. And the radius here is 2 centimeters. So this will be pi times 2 squared. And that comes out to 12.57, pi times 4. And you do that on the calculator, 12.57 square centimeters. Over here, uh, cylinder 2 is a good bit larger, but it's the same formula, pi r squared. We just have a different value for r in this case. So this is pi times 14 centimeters squared. And pi times 14 squared, and you square the 14 and not the pi right here. This comes out to 615.8 square centimeters. And then we use these two numbers to calculate the ratio of the areas and that will give us the, the mechanical advantage. So 615.8 divided by 12.57 put that into the calculator and it comes out to 49. That's 49 times as much area on the output cylinder. This area here is 49 times as big as the area on the input cylinder. That means that the, the force is multiplied by a factor of 49. So how much input force is needed to produce 5,000 newtons of output? Well, if we want 5,000 newtons of output, we only need 1 49th that much input force because our input force is going to be multiplied by 49. So we'll take the 5,000 newtons, divide it by 49, and that tells us how much in input force we need. And 5,000 divided by 49 comes out to 102. So 102 newtons of input will generate 5,000 newtons of output for this particular hydraulic system.